Hello everyone, this is Pumpkin Horror. Now today, I've been waiting for these two particular masks to come in, but they weren't supposed to come in for like another week or so. But surprisingly, they were sitting on a table today, so I'm going to show you what they look like. They are absolutely very cool looking. Now what I'll do is I'll actually show you what they look like. They're pretty much the same, except one's got a peat moss type hair. Uh, they're more or less like... I don't know, they kind of remind me of the old fawn from uh, Pan's Labyrinth. These masks are very unique and they look very similar to the old fawn. They're elves of some sort or what is said about their origin is they killed some goblin giant or some sort of giant. And I don't know, some kind of, kind of creatures crawled out of it and they had mystical powers and that's what these things are pretty much. But they got a very cool look about them. Very similar to the old form. Have you ever seen Pan's Labyrinth, a Guillermo del Toro's movie? I would love them to do one of those in dubbed version. But obviously I got the Spanish version, but with uh, subtitling, it is what it is. But anyway, it's a good movie. The old form is very cool looking. I got a NECA figure based on the old form. Very cool. But anyway... Uh, these masks are very similar with the exception of one of them has uh, peat moss or, you know, peat moss type hair. It's very cool looking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the masks uh, one by one and then I will shut them down and then turn around and try to turn them on because there's a switch inside that actually lights them up. Their eyes glow. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. It's very cool looking, all right? Because I actually turned them on. I'm like, oh, fuck, that's cool. Anyway. I'll be right back with the very first mask, okay? All right. Okay, we are back. Now, as you can see, I'm going to pull it in close. So you can see what it looks like. It's a very cool looking design. Show you the side of the head. It is a full mask. Okay. I'll show you the other one with the peat moss type hair. Right after this one here. Okay, but anyway, you see the eyes? Okay, once I shut the camera off, I'm going to find the switch, turn it on, and show you what it looks like, okay? So, I will be right back. There you go, guys. Exactly lit, lit up. It seems like it glares a little bit on the screen. I don't know if it's doing that. You, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comment section. But it does look very cool, okay? I'm not sure, but it's actually supposed to glow through the pattern. But the eyes, just by itself, looks absolutely very cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down, and I'm going to talk about the mask in, uh, in general. Then we're going to move on to the next one, which is an exact duplicate of this, except it's got the hair. So I will be right back again. Okay, we're back. All right. Now I'm going to show you some of the patterns and stuff like that, and I'm going to show you what it looks like inside the mask. Uh, as it does have um, wiring all the way through the mask, which connects the eyes, okay? And the glow-in-the-dark uh, effects. Now, the actual eyes you actually see out of the eyes is through that slit right there. Hang on, where is it at? Yeah, right there. The little hole right there. Right there. Can you see it? Can you see it? <coughs> but anyway, yeah, that's what you see out of But the actual, it's got glow, uh, like a lime green color to it. All right, hang on, i got to get the cut focus on this thing right. Alright. I'm going to show you the forehead. Like I said, it kind of reminds me a lot of uh, the old fawn. Which I should take a look at my uh, NECA figure just to see what it's like. I'm sure they're based off of this. Because this is old uh, Nordic type uh, folklore. With Odin and stuff like that, if that makes any sense. Um, so... Any, I'm sure some of you people out there know what that is, but you got these little horns, okay, little horns. Let me pull this back a bit. All right, there we go. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. Okay, and the actual horns up here, okay. Very cool. It's got a very distinctive color pattern, especially in the back of the head, as you can see here. Very cool. I love this mask. It's very cool looking. All right. The chin. Okay. Right, get back over here. All right. Let me turn it around so you can see it. 
It's kind of like stub, almost like a branch or something. Like they were branched out from a tree or something. I don't know, but it's got a cool look about it. Like I said, it's got the old fawn type patterns to it, especially in the forehead, which makes me think that these could be connected to that. I don't know. I should go ahead and get my, I will eventually get my uh, figure here and I'll bring it down and we'll talk about it and make some comparisons between these. So what I'll do is show you what the mask looks like inside, okay? And now it's kind of clear. There's no hidden uh, cushions or anything anything like that because it is made of a soft latex. So what I want to do is actually show you the actual wiring diagram. All right, now you see that right there? That is your wiring diagram and it runs all the way across to the other eye. Which I'll pop it out, see it? And this is the one half of the eye and the other half of the eye. But here's your switch. Okay, right there. Now, battery-wise, I am not sure how it runs on the battery. I'm sure you would have to remove the four screws, okay? And it probably has some kind of crazy battery. You see the wiring here. It runs like across the eye and stuff. Alright, but it is very cool looking. The other mask is exactly the same in size, so keep this in mind. But it is a little bit different. Um, Hair-wise, it looks really cool. I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a second. So, with this in mind, when I shut this down, and we'll get ready for the other mask, I'm going to bring Old Fawn over, and we're going to make a comparison as well, okay? Be right back. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you Old Fawn, and then we're going to go ahead and put on the other mask, and I'll show you what that looks like, and I'll shut it off again, show you what the eyes look like, you know, the usual stuff. But anyway, I want you to get a close look. It's not the same. But it does have some similar qualities, and I think that's where they got the idea from. It's probably from Guillermo del Toro's uh, pan, uh, old phone here. And I think that's where they probably got the ideas from. But then, then again, it could have been from um, the, uh, the folklore that I mentioned with Odin. Okay, it's possible they could have took some uh, sketch arts or some kind of similar artwork and created it in themselves. But anyway... Here's what it looks like up close. And we're going to move it in close here. Okay, hang on. Let me just move that around so I can see what I ain't doing here. Alright, I don't know if you can actually see it or not, but do you see the patterns on his head? All right, he's kind of similar, but I, obviously he's got longer horns. These guys have a similarity to them, which makes me think that they're similar in a way, but I'm not saying that they are. But it is kind of cool looking. But anyway, let's get a good look at him. He's very cool looking. Okay. He's got cool patterns. Now, I did do a uh, video on him. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I believe it's on here on Pumpkin Horror. If it's not, uh, I'll look. And maybe I'll do a video based on Old Fawn. Okay. But anyway, they are similar. So let me show you the mask in itself. So you can see what I'm saying here. Well, get back over here. All right, well, let's kind of pull this back so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, straighten out the head. All right. And then you got old fawn here. I know it's kind of hard to do this from a distance. But they do have a sim similarities to them. Okay, especially up on the top a little bit. Which makes me think, you know, oh my God, it looks like old fawn. You know, it's got similar patterns. But this is very cool looking, especially with the horns and stuff like that. All right. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and shut this down and put on the other mask. Be right back. Hello, everyone. We are back. Now, as you can see this here, it's got a peat moss texture to it. Okay. Where are you? There you are. See? I think it's very cool looking. Kind of shake it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let me raise this up a bit. So you can get the full effect. Okay, right there. Okay, there you go, guys. Let me raise it a little bit more. It's at its fullest right now. Okay, hang on. Now, as you can see, it does have its similarities to the other mask. Okay. Okay, hang 
home for a second here. I shall be back. Okay, we're back. I had to do some adjusting on the hair because it was tangled up inside the horns and stuff like that. And I can't seem to get this thing to go any higher. But you see what it looks like here. So I got to scrunch down a little bit. I think I'll just raise it up a bit. There you go. And just kind of pan it around. All right. Okay. Now the actual back, I can't show you unless I turn around. You get the idea. Turn it around this way. And I'll turn it. Around. You get the idea of what they looks like. So that's what this looks like. I can actually do videos in this. Hey, what's up? <laughs> but anyway, it feels comfortable, but it's a little tight if you got a big head. All right. Got some of that hair in your mouth. Not good. Not good. But anyway, that's what this looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it off for a second. Come right back with the lights on. That's what she looks like lit up, guys. Okay. That's cool, ain't it? Give you a close-up shot. Mm hmm The hair and everything on this thing is absolutely badass, okay? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this off and come right back without the mask on because it's kind of hard to breathe in this mask. So, I'll be back. Alright, now you are actually seeing what both of those masks look like. They're I identical to each other with the exception of the hair, okay? You know what it looks like inside. It's got the electrical components. I'm believing that it's battery operated. Got to take those four screws out. It's probably a little uh, watch battery. I don't know. Uh, but then again, it could be just a temporary thing and it dies and that's it. Okay? So, in order to find that out, eating that hair is not good. But anyway, <laughs> in order to find out, I have to take that apart, but I don't want to do that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on my uh, latex uh, styrofoam heads. Not latex heads. But I'm going to cover up the styrofoam heads because. If you don't cover them up with some sort of plastic, I've noticed and done some research is due to the fact that styrofoam will uh, suck the moisture out of your mask, especially if they're latex. You don't want that to happen because they'll end up cracking and stuff like that. So I'm going to co coat them with probably uh, like a plastic bag or something and then put the masks on it. Okay, and then I'm going to display them right behind me. Okay, I know you can't probably see them right now, but. Let me see if I can raise the camera and you can see some of that stuff up back in the back there. Okay, I've been collecting those for a little bit, okay? I just started uh, collecting masks probably about a year ago. And I've got probably close to 30 of them right now. Not counting everything else I've collected, but... And I've got an ungodly amount of NECA and Mezco figures, as you can see over there, okay? And over here, there's another bookshelf that's full of Godzilla figures. I've been collecting Godzilla for about 20, 30 years now. About 30 years. I slowed down because there's not really much out there that I want to collect when it comes to uh, Godzilla. Uh, I mean, there is, but some of it's too expensive. But anyway, long story short, I hope you guys like those masks. Okay, I think they're actually pretty cool. Like I said, I'm going to put them on the heads and display them in the backs. Um, so everybody can see them when I do my next videos, okay? Uh, but in the meantime, I believe that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm going to be pushing out some more videos, okay? So with this in mind, you guys have yourselves a good day or a good night, okay? This is Pumpkin Horror.